it has recently become fashionable to talk about the need for women in leadership. But I also want to say thank you. Well, first, let me say thank you, me too, and time's up to ensure that it is as relevant as it should be, a past due message that it is. Um, but before it became a point of hot topics, if you will, Sean Diddy Combs has always aligned himself with smart women. He has strategically built his different businesses, um, his, you know, his billion dollar businesses, with women at the helm. Um, we have women in this house here, as Erica Pittman over there, chief marketing officer at our water, the CEO of our television is also a woman, his chief of staff, the head of our agency, myself. We have over and over again in the past 20 years put women in places of leadership because it is just simply smart business. Now, it's the right thing to do, and I, I think this has come up a couple of times, but women are 50% of the population, like half, and less than 5% of CEO roles on the S&P 500. It just makes no sense, right? Because I, I love math, and it just doesn't make math sense. Um, and the reality is, um, some recent research done out of Boston shows that women CEOs in that same S&P 500 outperform their peers three to one. Three to one. Everybody, please use that in your next salary negotiation. Uh, <laughs> so very simply, if you will not do it for your hearts, do it for your wallets, because women are just good for business. Now, today's theme, again, is women who connect the world, but often it comes down to the people who rule your world. Um, so I want to first say thank you to Cindy Berger, who is the living embodiment of women who connect the world. My team at Combs Enterprises who make the impossible possible for breakfast every Tuesday. Um, my family who's here, uh, my wonderful sister Monique whose capacity for compassion I learn from every day. My aunt Deanne who I'm named after who taught me very early on that everyone has something to teach um, and make sure that you listen and find inspiration all around the world. Um, my dad who taught me that character counts and that love is shown with your hands and feet. My mom, who's not here today, she's home rooting for me, um, was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis when I was nine years old. And she, as she began to lose her ability to walk, she never lost her spirit that all things are possible. Growing up, she would say to me, what does not knowing have to do with finding out? So to this day, I cannot say the words I don't know without feeling like it's some kind of filthy curse word. <laughs> Um, my daughter, Emery, who's a five-year-old daughter, whose boundless joy sets the course for me every day, and my husband, my handsome, dashing husband, Keith, here, who um, I told about when we got married over 10 years ago, I'm just going to do this job and commute for like six months, and then I'll stay back closer to home. And he has still steadfastly <laughs> uh, supported me on this journey and makes me laugh uh, and feel beautiful every day. The women's empowerment movement will not work without the partnership of men, and I appreciate uh, my husband being out in front of that mission. In closing, we talk about women who connect the world, right? Which is the beginning of our story. But the reality is we do even more than that, as is our custom. We create, and indulge me a little Dr. Zussi moment, if you will, um, but we create, curate, clarify, and codify, sometimes we laugh just to keep from crying. We crystallize, calculate, then calibrate. We care and compliment and congratulate. Sometimes more than we should, we compromise and collaborate. Sometimes we concede an idea that we conceived, and we should not. Sometimes we give credit when it's not to, when in fact, the credit belongs to you. What I rarely see actually now is women who complain or condemn. We are creating a new house of femme. The women in this room are the conductors of the World Symphony. We are commissioners. We are commanders. We are conquerors. Thank you for this honor. Congratulations to all of us.